Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today I'm bringing you my top four things from the Baltimore Ravens that have came across my eyes for the last 24 to 48 hours. The first thing up, obviously we're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday Night Football, and there's been a history of a, I don't want to say a rivalry with the Jacksonville Jaguars, but there's been up and down, up and down with the Jacksonville Jaguars, whether it's been in Jacksonville or across the seas in London. Now, I went back to look at, like, the last five times we've played Jacksonville to see, like, what's been the problem. And what I found out was really win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. And so going back to 2015, we lost to the Jaguars 22-20. to Going back to 16, which was the year I kind of moved to the area, uh, we won 19-17. to Bump up 2017, so that's three straight years of playing the Jaguars. We lost 44-7. to Blowout. Huge disappointment. Didn't play them again until 2020, won that game 40-14, uh, to 14, so two straight blowouts, one by us, one by them. And then in 2022, which was last year, lost a heartbreaker 28-27. to 27. That's the first story. Now, the second story is the playoff scenarios. Now, there are nine different playoff scenarios that will make us clinch a playoff berth in 2023. Um, not going to read them off to you, but I'll give you the first couple ones, and I'll put it on the screen and let you read the rest. But most of it all is, is us win and we need a loss or a tie bunch by a bunch of other teams. Teams that we need a loss or a tie of, and again, it's nine different scenarios, is Denver, Buffalo, Cleveland, uh, Pittsburgh, Houston, and it's just a bunch of different combos, and, and by now it's on the screen, so you can kind of see who we need to lose or tie to help us get in. But the main thing is for us to win, and if we keep winning, we should be good. All right, third story that came across my desk, and this was really surprising to me. Matt BK is on the verge of a record, or NFL record. Matt BK has gotten a sack or half a sack in 11 straight games. He's on the verge of tying the record set by Chris Jones and Trey Hendrickson if he gets a sack or half a sack Sunday night in Jacksonville. Now, he two years ago worked out with Aaron Donald, and I'll put the article where I got this from on the screen right now. Two years ago, he worked out with Aaron Donald and took some things from Aaron Donald, and you can kind of see those things coming into his game. Not saying he's Aaron Donald-esque yet, but the season he's having is pretty darn good so far. And again, a couple weeks ago I did a study on Matabike, and he's winning one-on-ones. I thought it was a lot of stunts he was getting sacks off of. That is not the case. Aaron, um, Justin Matabike is winning his one-on-ones, and every sack he's getting, that check is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the last thing that came across my eyes was the injury report from yesterday, from yesterday's practice. Kyle Hamilton did practice in a limited role yesterday. Um, Malik Ham was full practice. Malik Ham was a guy I was excited to see, especially in what he did in preseason. So maybe we'll get a chance to see him rush the edge this weekend. Uh, maybe we won't, but I was, he was a guy I was excited to see, especially with what he did in a joint practice with the commanders. Um, Malik Harrison was a full go. Uh, I like Malik on the edge to help stop the run. Uh, Tyler Huntley didn't practice for personal reasons, and uh, Roquan Smith was a full practice. So we're pretty much healthy as compared to years in the past, and which is a great sign for whoever the new strength and conditioning people are, because we know in the past that list could be almost four to, well, not four to five, but you wouldn't be able to see it on the screen. <laughs> but uh, we, we're a fairly healthy team, and that's a shout out to the strength and conditioning staff and the guys for taking care of themselves. So uh, going into Jacksonville, we're fairly healthy, got a lot of positive things going. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good positive result, result Sunday night. And uh, this is all I have for you today. These are the few things that came across my eyes the last 24 to 48 hours. And it's something I'm going to try to start doing uh, every other day on the channel. So if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you really like it, if it's your first time here and you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this daily content. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.